<sighs> hey everyone um if you wonder where i am right now i'm actually in virginia i'm uh heading back home from louisiana um so i was i thought i would talk a little bit about this another school shootings um so apparently something happened at mardi gras which I, even though i was at mardi gras i uh never no i was far away from that but uh you know of course the usual gun debates which um you can debate guns all you want um and what gun law should be but um whatever gun laws are um whether there's restrictions on just assault rifles or guns are completely banned or there's no restrictions on guns. Um, no amount of gun laws can stop death. And everyone is gonna die. But the good news is for those who believe in God, they shall be freely raised from the dead. So whether or not you think we should have gun laws or restrictions or people should be allowed to, um, you know, carry guns to defend themselves, it cannot take away from the life of God and from the truth that those, you know, if I get, say I get shot in a school shooting, the good news is since I, God's going to raise me from the dead, not because I've accepted his gift of eternal life. And, um... So there's that, and then how the knowledge of good and evil, the wisdom of Satan, plays into this pretty interesting. Not just because, of course, people are heavily, heavily in the gun laws, um, debating gun laws at this time. You know, because quite frankly, people on both ends, you know, whether you're pro or anti-gun, you know, they're just trying to support the laws they think are going to produce life. And like I said, if you have an opinion, um, you know, if you don't consider, if you're new, whether you're neutral on gun control or have an opinion or moderate or whatever it is, I'm not going to judge you. And that can't add or take away, okay? You just got to understand that whatever your stance is, know that, you know, no gun laws can add or take away from uh, the life of God. Another thing is why the shooters do it. And actually, maybe the biggest factor isn't gun laws. And you'll see that, yeah, the knowledge of good and evil, this belief system in life by our works is part of the reason. Well, I've looked up some studies and I posted one on Facebook, which actually says media coverage of school shootings encourages school shootings. Okay, so people feel so down about themselves they'll do anything to become famous and um, you know they just want a good word about their life and they want people to know who they are because they don't see the truth that God knows who they are and God has a good opinion on them in fact um, when a person dies God doesn't like death God hates death because it destroys the people he loves um, so yeah, if something happens to you, even if no one else, um, even if no one else remembers you, God remembers you, and if you believe in him for eternal life, he will raise you from the dead. But the other thing is, okay, so maybe if the media coverage is, um, is trying to, um, is what's encouraging it because people do this to become famous why won't the media stop and uh i have a media studies degree from penn state so my parents paid thousands of dollars for me to learn why the media sucks um and you know you learn that you know my media class is like well the media just wants money oh okay so they're gonna put um you know what makes money over what's quality content but why the knowledge of good and evil the, the media wants to find line 
people were in media find life in uh, money, which requires them to get viewers, so they um, report on school shootings to get viewers. You know, never mind if, you know, maybe we should just not give these uh, school shooters attention. But it all comes down to the knowledge of good and evil, which Jesus defeated on the cross. And when uh, Jesus returns, that belief system um, is going to be completely demolished. Those who, who um, hold on to it will, um, you know, those, you know, those who still say we have life by our own works. They're just going to be um, eternally non-existent. They're going to, God's going to say, okay, you have life by your own works, and they'll eat the fruit of that belief system, which is, you know, eternal death or non-existence. And, but to those, um, when Jesus goes back, we get resurrected. Those who believe in God for life through the resurrection of Jesus, um, Yeah, so, you know, they're going to get full revelation of their sonship and, you know, the knowledge of good and evil will be demolished. So, you know, I, I look at these school shootings, I see the wisdom, I see how it plays a role in the uh, media, uh, the media, has, the role media plays, you know, why they're doing it, and also if the school shooters felt picked on, well, the people picking on them, and, you know, that's kind of part of their motive, the people picking on them are doing that out of the knowledge of good and evil. So, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts. I see it as the fruit of a belief system that will be eliminated when Jesus is gone, and since I believe in God for eternal life, uh, for me personally, um, you know, I'm glad that anyone, anyone who uh, believed in Jesus and died in a school shooting will live again, will be resurrected and live forever. And if I die in a school shooting, um, I'll be resurrected and live forever. I'm James M. Tuttle, and that's good news.